As communities all across Michigan and the nation try to process their trauma over last week's mass shooting at Michigan State, here in Clawson, the tragedy hits especially close to home as the community mourns Alexandria Werner, a class of 2020 Clawson High grad. Clawson itself is such a small and tight-knit community. Um, you know, I think the hardest part for all of us is how hard this is impacting a bunch of people that we love, uh, from our friends, uh, parents, to our friends themselves, to their siblings, uh, and just kind of watching the whole community hurt at once. My name is Billy Schellenbarger. I'm the proud superintendent of Clawson Public Schools, an incredibly proud former principal of Al Verner. But in a small city like Clawson, the support network is strong. The tight-knit community rallied together quickly, holding candlelight vigils on the football field at Clawson City Park on Tuesday and Wednesday to honor Alexandria and her legacy. And we do that by embodying what she did. We do that by exuding kindness like she did. We do that by looking out for those around us like she did. We do that by being a positive role model and influence on others like she was, and we do that by making an impact like she did. I definitely think one of the you know good things that's come out of this is that you know we've really seen the community come together, uh, be here for each other, and hopefully we come out the other end doing something more powerful uh, than what we started with. The outpouring of support for the Werner family, Alexandria's friends, and fellow students has continued, with several local businesses planning fundraisers in her honor. On Friday, the Old Detroit Burger Bar, where Alexandria worked as a waitress, held an all-day fundraiser event, giving the community a space to gather to grieve, remember, and offer each other support. The fundraiser was in support of the Werner family, with a percentage of the restaurant proceeds donated to the cause, and a table selling MSU Strong and Clawson shirts, stickers, and yard signs to raise donations. My family and I are very close, we're close to the Verners. My kids went to school together, they played sports together. Um, there just wasn't, as soon as we found out, there just was no hesitation. It was just, what can we do immediately? And um, Al worked here with me. Um, so we right away decided that we would pull together a fundraiser for today. And then I got in conjunction with Derek with the t-shirts and it's been just overwhelming the outpouring of affection and support. I've known the Verners for a while now. I coach uh, the kids in sports. So I was like, I'll throw out, make some t-shirts and raise some money and it's turned into a huge thing. Um, and Bonnie Swope at uh, Pop-Up Studio. We've done other fundraisers in Clawson to support other you know, local kids that have gone through you know, illnesses and that, and everybody's done it then too. And I think it just helps out that we've done those to, to be able to handle something like this magnitude. You know? And it's all just been a community thing coming together. We're, we're on thins and needles, but we're pulling it out. I mean, it's it's something this short of time too. It's it's a it's amazing. I mean, for me, like the big deal is as much as like uh, the charitable donations going towards the family for meeting here, just being here, being around our friends, uh, being here with people that were friends with her. It's been really comforting for sure. Uh, just to be able to come home and, you know, uh, hug a bunch of different people you love, uh, know that you just have so many people uh, that are there for you at a time where, you know, it's really hard and you could, uh, you know, really use some support just to know that the people that are hurting the most are being well taken care of by the community itself is uh, really nice to know at this time. When I got here this morning, the entire restaurant was full. Um, we love the Verners. They are a wonderful family. They do a lot for this community. They're, uh, you know, they're a pillar in this community. And um, Al, there's no words, <laughs> no words to describe Al. She was a beautiful young lady, kind, considerate. Um, you know, special, she helped special, special ed. Needs. She was very, very big in helping kids with special needs. Like anybody that needed something, she didn't care who you were, or what you were. It was just she helped whoever. And people need to start just being as kind as she was. Fill her shoes now. Yeah, they're big, foot shoes. Yeah. big shoes. Big shoes to fill. To fill. Very big shoes that's, to fill. That's she was just an amazing, well. amazing young lady. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.